Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be discussing how to make custom forms. So first we're going to start off by going here into forms. And now you can do it, we're going to talk about either in a template, so if you choose a template from here and you wish to edit that, or if you just want to start off scratch. So we're just going to start here though, I'm just going to drag and drop. This pop-up window will show up. So there's a lot of different things you can do. First we're going to start off by renaming this here to name. You can then position it differently if you want to do that. Um, there's lots of different options. I'm just going to uh, stay here with top like that. If you do want to put any additional information, so in here for clarification, you can do that as well. If you do want to add any description underneath, I'm just going to put a testing name here. And then if you do want to add um, a tool tip, so if they're unsure what this means, um, And you can add that. When they hover their mouse, this is what it'll show up as. Um, under validation here, you can actually make this field required and that's what the little asterisk means. And then you can click save. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna go to select boxes. So you can actually have so select boxes here. So let's see. Um, we can say, and then, You'll go here into data and you can put yes and add another and you can select no and I'll go ahead and click save here. So those are a couple of examples of things you can do in forms. If you go into advanced here, you can ask for things such as their phone number and again, you'll drag and drop. You can click save here. Um, you can add stuff such as their email. Um, we did their phone number, address, the date, and the time. So there's a lot of different things you can do and play around with inside of the forms. I'm just gonna go ahead and click save here. And you'll see that the form is kind of coming along. You'll notice that none of these I made uh, mandatory, but again, if you wanna make anything mandatory, you just go into validation and then just click required. You'll see the little red asterisk show up and you'll click save and then it'll become required. So there's a couple examples of things you can do in your form. Um, again, you can always do the same thing in a template. So you can click edit here in template. If I wanted to add a text field like I did earlier, I can come up here, I'll do it at the top. I'll just say text field. I'm gonna put first name again, even though it's already in the form. And I'll click save. And then you'll see first name has appeared. 